502 Insights, where we talk about a little bit of everything. In this video, we're going to talk about tips to try and lose some weight without having to give up the food you love. So this started a few years back where I had put on about 10 to 15 pounds and I was just unhappy with how my clothes were fitting and how I felt. So I decided I needed to lose 10 to 20 pounds. My sister also wanted to lose weight, so we joined in together and made a little weight loss challenge. The key in losing weight and keeping it off is by making changes that you can stick with. Don't try a drastic diet, a drastic change in life that you're not going to stick with. If you want to eat the food you love, eat the food you love. Just keep up with what you're eating and try to eat it in moderation. By using apps on your phone like MyFitnessPal, you can keep up with your calories and try to reach your goal. My Fitness Pal is really easy to use. It's free. You can find it on your app store. You download it. It lets you set it up. It asks your weight, your age, things like that, how much weight you want to lose. So it tells you how many calories you should be eating a day to lose what you want to lose. Now you can still have a negative calorie amount and check and see what you would weigh in a matter of weeks on the app and you could still lose weight. It also uh, gives you extra calorie degrees for your steps and if you exercise and it gives you a way to download those on the app also. Not only do you want to keep track of your calories and say you want to eat a big meal out or you wanted donuts for breakfast that's fine but then you could just adjust the rest of your day and eat something that's a little bit less calories so that your day evens out of course there will always be days when you're over you just try not to do that on a daily basis that way you can still lose weight along with the keeping track of your calories you also want to do some kind of exercise you need to do more than what you are currently doing. I myself don't like to go to the gym. If you do, that's great. That will work great. But I decided to walk. I went for walks with my family, took my dogs for walks, and sometimes even walk by myself. If it's nasty outside, you can always use a treadmill, an elliptical machine, walk in place, go up and down your stairs if you have stairs. Anything like that will help. I also used little three pound weights and lifted them doing different steps. So any kind of physical exercise, sit-ups, anything will help you out. You can also keep track of that on the MyFitnessPal app. So here's some pictures of me before I lost my weight. And here's some photos of me after I lost 17 pounds. Now, a lot of people said it wasn't a big difference, but for me, I felt a lot different. I was more comfortable in my clothing and felt better going out and wearing different types of outfits that before I, I just wasn't comfortable in and didn't want to go out. Now, if you're serious about losing some weight, you know, you can do it. You just have to remember you cannot lose it all at once. I did this over like a three month period and you have to really make it a habit and be dedicated to the process if you want to keep it off. Because as soon as you stop keeping track of your calories or stop exercising in whatever way you're exercising, the pounds are going to slowly come back. So if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see some more, please push the subscribe button. I'll be updating videos weekly. If you have any comments, please list those below. Thanks.